Yes, today's episode is going to be Pokemon, but I just booted up this, the application, and I see we now have Quest for Camelot. Let the record show, Pokemon Game Boy is on the Switch later than this game that I didn't even know existed. Absolutely beautiful. Well done, Pokemon Company. Well done, Nintendo. I believe... We want to change one of these out. But I have... Two decks made for today's episode. Well, the next two episodes I'm doing, but every two badges you do, you're gonna end up with a rival fight. I had to turn off capture audio because of the what, or not capture audio, but playing it for me. That was gonna drive me insane. Alright, so, a lot of my decks over here in the deck building machine, deck save machine, whatever. Did not put Hurricane or Grounded in here. These are going to be useful for two of the gyms we'll fight later, because gym leaders are on mono type teams, so you can just build resistance for them. For now, I'd rather focus on ones that are a little bit harder, uh, that are less of a given, if I can show off the cooler decks. I think, you know what, let's try Dragonair draw it, I want to really fight Ronald next. Oh, no, I don't want to do that, I want to build. Also, when you get metals, each of these machines, you can put them in here. So, fighting metal, rock metal, we don't have yet. Water metal, we do have. You can put that in there. And then you can build decks from the characters within the gyms. I don't think every single one of them is here, but you can still get a good chunk of them. Maybe once I beat the game, I can do a deck list thing and show off like what each one is, so you can reference it. Although it'd be way easier just to go into Cerebi.net and look up the deck list or deck list of all the trainers. So I believe we had an advantage on the Rock Club with the Venus deck. That's what I want to show off today: is energy transfer. First, I want to make sure we actually have advantage on it. Alright, so we will, because most of the rock and ground type fighting types are weak to grass. So this deck will be perfect for this ship. I'm running four Bulbasaur, one Ivysaur, three Venusaur. Then over at the bottom here. I'm running Executor and Execute. Mainly because Big Explosion basically flips a point for 20 damage for every single energy on it. And that's not just energy cards, that's actual energy. So if I use Double Colorless, it counts. I'm not running any Scyther, but it is an option because we are running a lot of Grass Energies and Double Colorless. You could put it in there if you wanted to. I've got two Professor Oaks. Four Bills, one Lass, two Pokemon Traders, three Pokemon Breeders, uh, four Energy Retrieval, four Energy Search. This is usually just to help move the deck along. Uh, four Energy Removal, one Super Energy Removal, because we don't want to dump too many in the discard. Two Computer Search, three Gusts of Winds. And that's it for the trainer cards, 12 grass energy, 4 double colorless. This is a deck I built, purely because I was trying to think of decks that would be great for, uh... uh I, I know no deck is really going to be able to beat Brain Dance in this generation, but I wanted to make ones that could showcase the starters a bit more. Uh, the one from Charizard is not going to be a easy to get one. I'm just going to be up front. Charizard is very difficult to make work, so. There's only about eight basic cards in the deck because we have Execute and Bulbasaur, so. 
looks like we're starting with Execute, and we already have the Executor, which is great for us. Fortunately, we do have to survive one turn. I think we can do it. Use Energy Search to quickly pull up the Grass Energy. Actually, it would have been... Oh, wait, no, because I can't use... You can use Computer Search to get a double color list, but you can't use Energy Search. Energy Search is only for bases. Another execute on the bench, just in case. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything to me, but... And I didn't mention it before, I believe in this one only there's no prerequisite to battle the Gym Leader, so if you start with the Bulbasaur deck, you can go right in to fight the, uh boss of this place, but I am going to battle a few more just to kind of showcase the deck, otherwise there's not a whole lot of a reason for it. I don't really need Pokemon Trader, I'm going to use Computer Search and get rid of one of our energy removal and one Pokemon Trader. So we'll get a double colorless energy because that will give us three coin flips on Executor as opposed to just one. Which was a good thing, because we only got one heads. So now we can't even attack, that's okay. I am going to use my energy removal on it. Oops, just getting that. Should have done it last turn, but... We can basically just keep stacking. Coin flips are all predetermined, so no amount of save state spamming or rewind is going to save you. Just accept your rolls and kind of go with it. I'm actually going to go ahead and use Energy Search. Funny that we haven't even hit a bill yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna use I actually just made a mistake there. Let me rewind. So instead of using energy search, what I should do is I should use computer search and dump last and energy search and then grab the, another double color. And then put that on Executor. We can use Professor Oak and just get a full hand again. Which hopefully will contain a Bulbasaur. Not super hopeful. But we did get it, so. And then I'm gonna use Big Explosion again. At this juncture, there's not really a whole lot it can, he can do to us. Just way too set up, and now we're going to be super set up because even if Executor gets close to death, we can move all those grass energies to Venusaur, which is going to make things exponentially easier to sweep through. We only need three heads to be. Oko Onyx. We only need a single heads to beat the Cubone. He's pretty much dead here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we don't even run Psychic Energy, so teleport's not happening.
This guy will give you Coliseum, which again, if, is great if you want just high power basics. A lot of good utility cards. Get Munchan and Scyther two packs in a row. Where was that when I was grinding out? Freaking Haymaker. Oh, whoops, I do want to battle Ryan. Oh, we both started without a basic. Beautiful. I thought I saw a Machop in that deck. Sometimes they do run a little bit of Marowak. Oh, I remember. I think I remember this guy. Now I'm mixing it up with Fire Club. There's somebody in the Fire Club who likes to stall with a uh, a Cubone. Apparently he's going to stall with a shelter. Oh, that's okay, we can't even attack for two turns, so... I have a last, so I'm going to use it. Interesting that he's running fossils. Shelter is weak to electric not grass. Really make use of it yet. I'm gonna keep powering up Bulbasaur so whenever I get either Ivysaur or Venusaur, I'll be able to move up with it. Oh, never mind. We just win. Cool. Evolution. This is where you would actually get a lot of the evolution cards, including Venusaur for this deck, so farm this guy out. I should also mention, th this is not the Phantom Venusaur. I do not have that one. Um, if you see that one, it's basically hacked into the game, I believe, because it should be impossible to get through card pop. I have neither of the Phantom cards. I only have the main cards that you can get throughout the game. I have all the promo cards besides the Phantom ones. Now we're going to battle Gene. Okay, if I would actually hit yes. Okay. If I remember right, his team is Monotype, so he's only ever going to run the, the Fighting-type energy cards. He's got double color center. Oh wait, no, that's not him. Boy. And I just cannot get a basic. Eight over sixty, so that's four over thirty, two over fifteen. And this is why it's dangerous to run so many energy cards. Take two turns to attack anyway. Now I'm on a timer. Well, I think my attack is Leech Seed, so I could get some of my health back. I only get 10 every time I do it, but that's okay. Saying that I haven't got a single bill yet, though. Could go for Executor of Pokemon Tree. 
shooter, but the pin litter up is taking a consistent 20 with health because there's not really a whole lot the Onyx can do to me. I think I'm better off setting up Venusaur, or actually, that is a plan. I can use Pokemon Trader to swap out Ivysaur or Venusaur and then put use Pokemon Breeder and we can just start setting up Venusaur and whenever Execute, uh, execute gets close to death. We can uh, use energy transfer to move all its energies off of it. Let's see if Ponyx gets a better move or not. Harden, so I can just stop it. Or reduce it. Unfortunately, can't really do much with the double colorless right now. Those are mostly just in there for Executor, and unless I get one in my hand, I'm not going to bother putting it on uh, Execute here yet. I think Geodude gets a strong. Oh, yeah, that's great. So, until Tails appears, it's going to keep doing damage. Oh, there we go. Usually, it's not going to get more than three, but. And now you're dead. I could have actually given Executor more, more coin flips by passing all the energies to it. Maybe something I do next turn. I want to actually stick Bulbasaur on the bench, but that's okay. Computer search, I don't want to bother with. I have so many bills in the deck because I haven't got any of them yet. And I'm sure once I pull, yep, there we go. Okay, well, we can only attach one energy at a time. Yeah, now we're actually starting to move through stuff. Uh, I believe you hit Pokemon Power. You click on this, use it. So we're going to start just taking out all of these and moving them to Executor. Then, when I use Attack... We get nine coin flips. Basically, whatever gets in the way of this thing isn't living. Two hundred and eighty damage. And his best defense is a dipplet. Oh look, my first bill of this game. lost because he, he pretty much loses the second I get a single heads, but now we get to go through all these coin flips just because why not. And then just to be, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. I guess we could, uh, we could Pokemon Breeder and get another Venusaur on the bench, just because why not? And hit with some more big explosion.
You know, I feel like a better name for this deck would be the Big Egg Transfer, but that still sounds weird. I think Energy Transfer, just naming it after the ability like uh, Blastoise is probably the better call. I think I managed to show off. The I was going to battle him again, uh, just to kind of show off the deck a bit more, but I think I managed to show it off a bit better in that last bit there where I had to transfer all the energies from the Venusaur. But if Exeggutor would start getting weak, transfer all of them off of Exeggutor onto Venusaur, and then onto your next Venusaur, and then onto another Exeggutor once you set it up, so it, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's a very fun deck, honestly. 